Commander Legends is on the way later this year, and we just got a peek at the new stuff that's coming in Baldur's Gate. I'm going to show you the retail guide article that was released on the Wizards Play Network, and I want to hear what you have to think. Hello Oathbreakers and welcome back to the Signature Spellbomb YouTube channel. I miss your faces. Today we're going to be talking about an article that was posted on the Wizards Clean Network website. So bear with me, I want to make this as readable, oops, as readable as I can for you guys. I hope that helps. So, Commander of the Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate Retail Guide from March 24th. Magic the Gathering's second commander focus set takes players directly to one of the most popular locations in D&D, &D, Baldur's Gate. Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate combines the casual fun of Commander with a unique draft pre-release experience to take multiplayer magic to the next level. Here you'll find a reminder of upcoming dates to mark on your calendars as well as what's available with the set so you can prepare to host even more epic commander events at your store. Commander Legends Battle for Baldur's Gate's key dates. So scheduling for ordering for um, LGSs is going to begin March 24th. Market kit delivery for North America and Latin America will be May 27th. So that's the kits that have all the posters, cutouts, anything related to marketing in store. Distributor lock date, it's March 25, so they have to get in the orders pretty quick. This is all very fast, but actually it's all passed now, so that's kind of crazy. Promo delivery kit will be May 27th. The pre-lease will be June 3rd through 9th, so I guess the set is coming sooner this year than I expected since we're almost into April and this will be out in June. And then the launch weekend for the set is June 10th through the 12th. So as long as we don't have any big shipping issues like we've had as of late with supply chain and whatnot, this all seems pretty locked in based on this article. What you can sell at pre-release. Pre-release week is time for your players to get their hands on the latest set for the first time. And with any crossover focused on commander play, you can draw interest from both your Dungeons & Dragons fan and engage your Magic the Gathering players. Pre-release early sales promotion will be for set boosters and draft boosters. As usual, your store will have an allocation of set and draft boosters depending on your region to use for the pre-release's early sales. Take time to encourage players interested in exploring what the set has to offer through set boosters. I personally am not the biggest fan of set boosters, especially with a pre-release draft event draft environment. I can see where some people might want to get more of these commander's cards that are going to be coming out in their hands faster. I'm excited to see what planeswalkers we might get. As usual, your store will have an allocation... Oh, I think I read that already. <laughs> Pre-release pricing will work differently from normal as well. You will receive one set booster box containing 18 set boosters for each case containing 15 pre-release packs that you purchase. So basically, that doesn't matter unless your LGS is actually uh, a Magic the Gathering Wizards Play Network store. So if your store doesn't regularly do pre-release stuff because they don't get allocated for it, that doesn't really matter. We recommend you use these set boosters for participation at pre-release events and use any additional incentives your players to bring your, their friends along or as rewards to players who help others build decks. Wizards Play Network Premium Stores will receive an allegation of collector's booster displays for sales during pre-release weekend. That's a little bit new. So they will be able to sell some collector boosters at the top level WPM stores. That is an interesting um, promo pack card. Uh, languages available will be English, Chinese Simplified, German, French, Italian, Japanese, Portuguese, and Spanish. For Commander Legends Battles at Baldur's Gate, the pre-release pack is a little bit different from your average magic set. Each pre-release pack will contain three draft boosters, one foil with a year stamp, one foil dungeon card, so I guess we're getting another dungeon. That's really interesting. I can't wait to see what that is. It might be two because, you know, they front and back print those sometimes. And one Magic the Gathering Arena code card. That's usually going to get you packs or something in Arena. 
The dungeon card is a unique card that shares the same mechanic as dungeon cards from Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. The card is not included in a player's deck size or sideboard and is activated by the initiative mechanic. Ooh, so we're getting a new me mechanic called initiative. I wonder if that involves rolling a d20 and seeing who has the highest dexterity. Maybe we'll have to actually play jacks on our magic table. Let me know what you think about that idea. That sounds terrible. However, keep in mind that the Adventures from the Forgotten Realm dungeon cards are not making a return for the Commander Legends Battle at Baldur's Gate. Oh, so this dungeon card is just for the pre-release. Hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. Please note that your allocation of pre-release packs will not be as large as a typical pre-release allocation. You will be allocated a percentage of your largest recent pre-release, which will vary by region and is based on relative Commander popularity. Ooh. So if you don't do a lot of regular commander events and you haven't told Watsy about it, you might not actually get as much allocation for this commander kind of exclusive set. That hurts. I don't like the sound of that at all. What's in your marketing kit? Marketing kit will help boost your efforts to share the hype of a second commander legend set to draw players and friends to your store. Let's see, after all, this crossover set is multiplayer focused, just like Dungeons and Dragons itself. There will be one Lineature Chrome Booster shipped flat. I'll have to see if that's uh, down further. And buy a block box promos will be Elder Brain. Let's give a quick look at Elder Brain. I'm probably gonna read it to you guys because it's really small on the screen I'm seeing now. It is a 6-6 six, six for five and two black with Menace. Whenever it attacks a player, exile whole cards from that player's hand. Oh, that's gross. Then they draw that many cards. You may play lands and cast spells from among the cards exiled as long as they remained exiled. If you cast a spell this way, you may spend mana as though it was mana of any color cast. Ooh. Man, that's gonna go really good into certain decks that steal from your opponent's libraries or play off the top of their libraries. Taking a, a player's entire hand, even if you're replacing it with a new hand, could really hurt. Um, also, it goes pretty good in mill decks because you're gonna be milling a, you know, a player their hand size essentially by taking their hand and making them draw each time you do this. So I kind of wonder how that's going to work out. And I notice it's on attack, not on damage. So that's a trigger that also works pretty well in extra combat steps. So it's going to be interesting to see how people build around Elder Brain. Customers can receive a buy box promo if they buy any of the following boxes. This is pretty standard. <laughs> Six uh, pre-release packs. I haven't seen that before. I guess six like pre-release packs are talking about pre-release kits probably adds up almost to a full box if you think about it. So I think these are 20 booster boxes, you know, 20 booster packs in the box. Commander's Legend Battle for Baldur's Gate product details. We've got our set boosters. Hey, look, Minsk and Boo are making a return. They're definitely prominently featured on the packs. I did on Reddit see what looked like a spoiled Planeswalker card form. I'm not going to comment on it because I don't know that that spoiler is real. And I really don't want to cover spoilers on the channel, but it is interesting to see that that might be a problem that I'm going to build decks around. Let's see. Uh, set boosters contain 15 Magic the Gathering cards per pack and are the ideal boosters to open just for fun. Players interested in exploring Magic the Gathering Commander cards from a world of Dungeons and Dragons. I don't, so these are 15 card packs. So that means these might be 20 again because these the draft boosters were 20 card packs last time. They are indeed. Players will draft two cards at a time and build a 60 card commander deck to prepare for multiplayer madness. That sounds like an awful lot of fun. Probably pretty fast too with 20 cards if you're drafting two cards out of each pack. That'll be interesting. Here's some collector's boosters. I don't know what dragon this is, but that is some awesome artwork. I would like to know who this ranger is. If you guys know who this is, let me know in the comments below. Looks like they have announced four commander decks. Now every player has to draft their $100 commander deck from scratch. There will be four commander decks available for purchase that are ready to play immediately. We have party time. I'm interested in this because I really hope that's going to bring the party mechanic back to D&D and that's going to also mean that we actually get to use the party mechanic because if it didn't feature at all in forget, prevent, uh, Adventures of the Forgotten Realms, and I think that was one of the biggest misses in that, because we got it in Zendikar Rising and then not in a set that was actually D&D based. Mind Flayers, that sounds like it's probably going to be the game, the deck you want that great Elder Brain in. You know, if you see the full art, there's actually Mind Flayers down around this pool, like praying to it, and there's a bunch of dudes floating in the background. Um, so that's cool. Draconic Descent, 
and Exit from Exile. Each commander deck includes an additional two card collector booster sample pack to give your players an opportunity to preview the coolest card treatments from the set. That's new, I'm interested in that. And then of course we've got our usual bundles. That looks like a newer art and it got the tear line on the bottom now. That's an interesting look. Let's see, 40 basic lands, promo card, foil art, eight commander legends, set boosters, and a spin down life counter. Okay, that's about what I expect. Ooh, exclusive promos in this bundle, so in this bundle pack, include the Wand of Wonder. Remember, this alternate art cannot be found anywhere else. Let's go ahead and read it. Wand of Wonder for three and a red is an artifact. We can pay four, I think that's four, and tap it, roll a d20. Each opponent exiles cards from the top of their library until they exile an instant or sorcery card, and then shuffle the rest into their library. You may cast up to X instance and or sorcery spells from among the card exile this way without paying their mana cost. So, when we roll our d20, uh, oh, did I read this wrong? It exiles an instant or sorcery card, and then shuffles the rest into their library. You may cast up to X. Okay, so our D20 roll is gonna we're gonna get to look at at least three instances of sorceries because it's each opponent's library. But unless we roll a natural 20, we're only gonna get to cast probably one or two about 90% of the time. So that's really interesting. I kinda like that as a mechanic. So well that's this set. Yeah, I was excited when I saw this had broke. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed uh, that news article. Um, I definitely want to hear what you want to think. If you've gotten this far in the video, please uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you're going to be picking up this set, what you're excited to see. If there's any adventures from the Forgotten Realms or Dungeons & Dragons characters you really think should appear. Because I'm going to be looking out for those as things spoil later. Um, if you've made it this far, you can become a subscriber and get on this list below. You can become a patron and help support all the amazing content I'm trying to make. And also put a video up here on the end card. I want to thank you for making it this far, and I hope you have a great day.